My name is Amar Jyot and I'm talking to Mr. Fahim Mir. Is that your name? Full name? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's my name. Where where are you right now? Uh, right now I'm in Australia. So uh, I came here for a visit for 10 days. So, you know, I, I just got stranded here. So uh, I'm just... I'm, wait a second. Yeah. Wait, you have to go uh, slow and easy. Just slow, slow, easy. What city are you in Australia right now? Right now I'm in Melbourne. Okay. And uh, how is the situation of coronavirus in Melbourne at present? Uh, it's fine here. You know, people are taking uh, precautions here. People are maintaining distances and uh, shopping malls and cinemas and other restaurants are closed. But uh, the essential things like, uh, you know, supermarket or, uh, or the travel is like, they are, it's normal here. It's working and there are no uh, such restrictions, but people are taking care of, you know, themselves. They are, uh, they are like, they are good here. I mean, it's not so much restricted, but still, uh, the situation of Australia is better than India. Like India is total shut down, but here it's fine, pretty fine. Where are you from? Uh, which country are you from? I'm from India. Okay. From where in India? Uh, I'm from Hyderabad. Okay. So, and uh, what was the what was the purpose of coming to Australia in the first place? Actually, uh, uh, I, I I was on a vacation, so you know I I didn't know that uh, it will be closed. Uh, it will be like shut down here the airport so uh, it was a trip for 10 days so but i was supposed to go back on 25th of march but the airports got closed on 22nd i guess 22nd or 23rd so you know i i just got stranded here i came here uh, to meet some friends because every year i take you know i go on holidays or something so my leave thing was my leave came in this period of time so uh, what is your what is what is your business or profession in India? Uh, actually, uh, I'm an engineer. I have worked uh, in Amazon, and but right now I'm working in a medical company uh, by the name of CTS Medicals Private Limited. Okay, and you come to Australia just for a ten day vacation every year? Mm, yeah, uh, two, uh, two weeks. You know, so you two weeks. What, where do you where do you go? I mean, what do you meet? I mean, do you meet uh, people that you have family relatives here, or what do you do here at this location? I I have lots and lots of friends here in Melbourne, so you know we just plan it out and we just spend time together every year. Uh, last time uh, we were in uh, London uh, in the month of December, last week, last uh, last December two thousand nineteen. So, you know, in a year, one, once or twice, we make these trips because my friends are, you know, all over the world. So, so it's like that. Can you, can you say we are here? Who's we? Are you traveling alone? No, me and my friend. You and your friend are traveling uh, together. Yeah. And yeah. who is this friend? Who is this friend uh, from India? Yeah, from my uh, a colleague. A colleague. And, and, he's, and he's also an engineer working. Uh, but, yeah. You know, yeah, working with CTS Medicals. Yeah. So, what is what is the immigration problem as of today? Uh, actually, the thing is, uh, uh, I want to settle in uh, Canada. You know, uh, I have uh, researched, uh, you know, the procedure for 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 going to Canada and settling there. But I don't know exactly. You know, I'm not. You know, I don't know uh, the rules. You know, clearly. So what should I do and, uh, you know, how should I proceed and what are the good ways? You know, I, I was, I was, I saw your so videos, you know, I, I felt very nice, you know, very stop, logical. Stop, stop, stop. Before, before you proceed on asking any introductory questions about Canada immigration, I have to ask you some questions. Okay. You have visited many countries, including London and Australia, and you regularly visit Australia. Uh, what do you see in Australia that you do not like and you wish that Canada is better than Australia? Because uh, I'm very fond of cold weather. So that is the reason. Actually, <laughs> you know, actually, yeah, yeah, actually, I'm from Kashmir. Uh, I'm, I'm born in Kashmir. So, uh, know, Kashmir. But, 
yeah yeah so but i'm settled uh, but uh, you know i moved to hyderabad i did my uh, little bit of schooling and um, uh, and engineering from there i did my job thing there then i moved to bangalore so right now i am working in bangalore but i have spent almost 16 years in hyderabad so you know more than australia uh, i like canada i've got one i've got one reason one reason that you prefer uh some other country than australia is cold weather and another thing uh, i have heard uh, that uh, coming uh, settling in uh, canada is pretty easier than settling in australia so this is also one reason for that am i audible my 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 hello we are yeah. losing your connection can you, can you hear me yeah i can hear you but uh, uh, the, the line wasn't connecting from last 10 to 20 seconds it wasn't uh, audible think, think of this think of this we you are in the best country of the world australia and canada we are connected on wifi and the connection still gets lost i i'm told that reliance geo connection is better than canadian australian connection yeah is it i don't know because i'm using yeah. airtel in back in india so yeah. airtel is so, not so good but yeah i have another one What are other things that you didn't like in Australia? I, uh, Australia is good, you know. There are uh, I I don't think there are any things which uh, which I can dislike about Australia. You know, it's good. Australia is pretty good. But mm. uh, uh, in Canada, I'm having uh, some relatives also, and I have always heard uh, you know the best things about the Canada. about uh, being safe about you know it's 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 a great i have always i never heard any bad thing about canada you know and the and also i heard that the procedure for coming to uh, canada like applying for pr or something like that it's pretty easier than other countries so so that was for the one reason thing, for for one thing it uh, as compared to australia and canada one thing i've never lived in australia by the way but I have some people who are in the immigration business in Australia. They are uh, Mara consultant, and they tell me that uh, Australian immigration is very expensive, and uh, as compared to Canada, it it, uh, it costs more money for application fees. Uh, plus, uh, the the benchmark is very high based on your skill level. Uh, yeah. It is higher than higher than uh, Canada, so that's for sure. Anyway, so as far as your question is concerned, how to immigrate to Canada, I can only tell you that the process is so simple and straightforward that you really do not need to take help of any Canadian immigration lawyer or consultant. Uh, you seem to be a very educated and skilled professional with good English. Uh, you should be able to compute your own. comprehensive ranking score on express entry on the government of canada website if your points are touching the minimum cutoff which was in preceding many months you have a reasonable chance of success if not then there's nothing anybody can do including me uh, the second option by which many people supplement their score is by searching for a job offer if you can get a job offer based on what your background is that will add more points to your profile and then it will increase your uh nomination also you know possibilities to be nominated so uh number 1 comprehensive ranking system uh, the score uh and uh, just look at your points that's all you have to do yeah i was uh, and another question i wanted to ask you about uh, is it uh, very easy for anybody to move to canada if you are having a job in hand beforehand i mean beforehand you are having a job of is it easy for that guy to move to canada the answer the answer uh, requires a different uh, different approach 
the question is not about whether it's easy. If you, if you have a job, it offers added possibility of entering Canada. So a person does not even have to immigrate. When you immigrate, you are immigrating for PR, for permanent residence. But if somebody has a job offer, then he can ignore the PR side and just go to Canada and just for work. Just for work. I have so many people I get from Hyderabad, Bangalore, Pune, who have a job, they're IT people, and they have a job offer from a Canadian IT company, and then they tell them, look, can you come to work here for one year or two years? And then that is how they get a work permit. If they have a work permit, they can live themselves or bring their families and then start making money from day one. And after, let's say, six months or after 12 months, when they when they like what they see, uh, when they are happy with their working conditions and other factors, then they then they can make their plans to immigrate. So they can make their immigration applications subsequent to their work experience in Canada. So that way they are in better position. In addition, also, uh, when you work in Canada, the, the work experience in Canada further boosts up your point in Express Entry. That, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. So I can, you know, I, I have to go through that express entry thing. Yeah. Everybody, everybody has to. I always joke, even if I, I had to, if I was uh, living in India and if I had to do the immigration myself, I also had to follow the same procedure. So it is a combination of your age, your English, your experience your education level and uh, you know a composite score which is called comprehensive ranking score that yes. determines that determines who will be invited who will not be invited this is a global competition for talent canada needs talented people according to the score what they have uh, the scoring system what they have made and they always tweak around the score to to be sensitive to what are the economic conditions of Canada. Right now, there's too much of unemployment because nobody has jobs and they need certain occupations more than others. I remember about four years, I remember about uh, three to four years ago, I am in Alberta and they required a lot of chemical and petrochemical engineers and geological and mining engineers. At present, they don't need the, those talent at present. At present, they need more of medical doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, uh, you know, dentists, and those kind of professionals are much more needed today. So it, it, they always uh, tweak around a little bit uh, through, the, uh, through what is needed. And that determines whether some province will invite you to stay and live in that province. So that's how it is. And, I, and I'm sure Australia also does a similar uh, yeah. fashion. That's right. So that's right. Yeah. That's that. That's how. That's how it is. So your first step, step is you. Your IT guy, on your own. You know you can make your profile on your website, and then uh, hey, just just uh, wait and watch and see where does the uh, profiling system goes after a few months. Yeah, that's right. And uh, uh, is it, will it be uh, you know a good idea? If I just come down to Canada, you know, in my uh, next uh, holidays, I mean, after three months or four months, five months, I can just come down to uh, Canada and, and, and look for myself like for 15, 20 days so that I see how actually the, uh, I mean, how is the country and how is, uh, how is the place and how, how, how are the people and other things. Is it a good idea to do that thing or? That is that is not that is not only a good idea that is the best idea in immigration if you have the visa or if you can obtain the visa it is always a good idea to come and visit the country to see whether you like the country or not let me just ask yeah. you yeah. you are from kashmir if i want to live in kashmir is it a good idea for me to actually visit kashmir and to find out how the, how the dal lake is how Srinagar is, how Pergam is, how Gulmarg is. It is always a good idea to and first you know, go and find yeah. whether, whether I like those living conditions or not. Instead of, if I am living in Delhi, instead of 
I sell my house in Delhi. I I collect all the money and I tell people, look, I am going to Shirinagar. That's where I will live for the rest of my life. Come on, I don't even know the spelling of Shirinagar, where, how the things are, maybe where will I live, what job will I do. It is always a good idea that I can go to Shirinagar for two weeks, go and meet people, check out things and see if I like the conditions here and then make a decision. So this is a foreign country we are talking about. I am astonished many people, thousands and thousands of people who are coming to Canada, they are making the decision to come to Canada without actually getting to know about Canada. This is very puzzling to me. They hardly know about Canada. They don't know how cold it is. They don't know how much money they will make. They don't know what the health system system is. What They don't know what the crime situation is. They don't know how much money they will need to educate uh, themselves or the children or their families and how will they take care of the parents and stuff? They know nothing, but just, just a blind fate. Canada is Canada. Canada is heaven. I am going to heaven. I am going to Canada. That's how they make the decisions. Mm-hmm. And some people, yeah. some, some people get what they want, but many people, when they come here, they are not happy. I mean, believe it or not, I, I meet so many people who tell me that they have made some mistake by choosing Canada because Canada is not what they were thinking. They would have been better off perhaps in America or perhaps in Switzerland or Norway or Sweden or maybe in Australia. So your question, whether it's a good idea, yes, I recommend this idea. You should apply for a visitor visa to Canada, visit uh, big cities, uh, you know, like Toronto, Vancouver for let's say one week each and then decide this the country that you want to live? Is this the city that you want to live? Is this the place where you will likely find a job? How much money do you need? What do you need to talk to? Do you need to talk to some employers? Maybe you can line up some job interviews with big company like Microsoft and other in Amazon and other companies. I'm sure you know about them and then talk to them and tell them, you know, what kind of job you can get in. And that's uh, always a good idea. Yeah. That makes sense. That's perfect answer to that. And uh, uh, actually, I'm having that uh, uh, that US ten uh, year visa, so I think I'll get it, uh, you know, pretty faster than uh, you know other people. Yeah, I you you have a good chance. You you have an excellent uh, chance of getting the Canada visa for two reasons: because you have a, a impeccable travel history to these countries, Australia and US. As you said, you have the visa for US, so. I don't see any impediment in uh, applying and obtaining a Canada visa. Uh, so mm-hmm. just just tell them what you want to do. Just just I you know if I were you, I would just tell them uh, when you fill up the form. I tell them, look, I want to explore Canada because I am a potential applicant for immigration, but I will not make a decision until I actually go and see some cities first. I think the visa officers will love your statement. They will they will likely give you the visa without any hitch. Yeah, and it's always best, you know, for example, if you're going for a visit, you should only visit. The purpose of your visit should be like only sightseeing and other things. Even if you land a job or, for example, if you crack an interview or something, you should go back to your country and apply for the work per- permit. And I think the employer has all the duties in the world to do that thing. So if we follow the rules, the country will also respect us. So it's yeah, important. I agree. Yeah, yeah, Something I like I, f- I fully I fully endorse your opinion. Yeah, that's a good that's a good good spirit of immigration. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you. You know, thank you so much for talking to me. Like uh, I have, uh, I, uh, you know, uh, now my uh, mind is clear. So what to do and how to do. And it was also like a confidence boosting session. So, you know, I'll, I'll keep all your po- points in mind. And if I have to contact you someday, so what is the procedure of contacting? How, how should I do that? I mean, can I just message you or my, mail you? My email, my email is listed on my YouTube profile. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's where uh, you can use to send me a full message. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm always I'm always astonished, and many people see my YouTube video. And yeah, yeah. From last you know, one week, um, 
last one I, week I'm, i'm i'm looking at your videos it's like so crystal clear it's it's like perfect information is given and i like uh, uh, your style of being blunt you know for example if you don't like a, a case of anybody i mean like you yeah. just say bhai saab mat apply karo ve agar aapko yeah. paisa kharchana hai to dena hai dusre ko to aapki marzi ye fraud hai bla bla so so it, like that bluntness is like very nice so oh, that's okay so, because i I don't I don't I'm not I'm not motivated by uh making too much money I can make a small amount of money and I can stay happy but you know I I I like I like to promote transparency in in all applications yeah. immigration applications and when I see a problem in immigration background or something in the in the applicants background and I and I I have nothing to hide. I can tell them, look, this will work or this will not work. You know, whether you want to take chances, you take chances on your own. I mean, uh, as as long as you have full information and and full knowledge about the facts, that you know, you should be able to make a right decision. Uh, yeah. That that's all. That's all we can do. Uh, yeah. And and that's that's what it is. But anyway, on my YouTube profile, uh, my all my. email and whatsapp everything is listed and still many people who are watching my youtube videos they still will ask me sir what is your phone number what is your email address and i tell them look just go dig deep or it is listed on on my profile but they still that's fine yeah so yeah so thank you so much sir for talking to me and uh, i'll keep on watching your videos for new feeds and other things so it's very helpful you are doing a great job you know god bless thank you so much sir thank you take care you too bye bye